Hey everybody, welcome to this vlog of Pursue the Hunt. Um, today we're going to be going over packing for the mountains. So we're doing a backpack trip. Uh, my brother-in-law's landing tomorrow. And so what we're going to do is when he gets here, we're going to head up to the northern part of BC for a sheep and goat hunt. So I wanted to talk to you today about gear packing. We're gonna be doing a backpack only trip. And so whatever we carry in is what we have. We don't have horses, we don't have quads. So how do you pack the essentials without overpacking or underpacking? So I'm just gonna go through a bit of a list that I have here for you today. So clothing wise, uh, we've got the First Light Catalyst jacket here. Uh, we're going to be using that as our outer layer. It is uh, it is water repellent, but it mostly what I'm going to be using it for is a bit of a windbreaker with layers underneath. We've got a couple layers of different weights of merino wool and also an under armor layer for sweat wicking. A few pairs of socks and I have a few pairs of, uh, of underwear and long underwear. I like long underwear, one, in case it gets cold on you. Two, I like sleeping in it. Uh, it's not baggy in the inside the sleeping bag. And then we've got just a couple of other uh, breathable outer layers uh, as well, just in case uh, it warms up and for hiking as well. As far as headgear, uh, we've got toque, neck gaiter, hats and gloves. I like the hats, keep the uh, the sun off the head and also conceals the face a little bit. Got a really important piece here, the inReach. We've got that uh, just in case for emergencies. It's really nice to be able to contact uh, an SOS if needed. I do pack a very small solar powered uh, battery pack. That's just so I can charge my phone for video, uh, recharge the inReach if we need to things like that, I can get two full iPhone charges off of this. So it's really handy for that. Um, and extra shoelaces. I've had that happen where boot laces break and it's a real pain. Uh, luckily I had some paracord rope, but uh, extra laces are just really handy to have. As far as food goes, what I do is I put all my mountain house into a dry pack here. And what we've got is we've got uh, seven mountain house so one for each day and then what I've also packed is uh, instant oatmeal great for breakfast and then with that I'm also bringing some meal replacement protein powder to put in them as well uh, just for a little extra recovery protein uh, definitely helps with cramps muscle recovery things from that with all the incline decline hiking and uh, just a couple of uh, comfort foods as well it's nice to have um, one important piece that I do bring is uh, besides obviously toilet paper is bringing baby wipes uh, one thing I really like about baby wipes is that it, it when you when you use it you use it on your armpits and other sweaty places it it takes the salt off and what I found is that it really reduces the amount of chafing uh, which is obviously really important. Wipe the feet down as well, get the salt off the feet, and that just helps uh, clean the areas, and then you dry them, and uh, just like you use it for babies, keeps them chafe-free, which is really important uh, when you're in the backcountry. A couple of other uh, pieces that I use here, so some, some of the more survival type of knickknacks and stuff. So I do use a life straw, just in case as well. Um, Blistex, really like the Blistex for putting on the lips when you're on the ridges when it's windy, keeps the uh, keeps the lips from cracking. And then I do have a small first aid kit and a survival kit with some uh, larger log type of matches as well, just as a, as an in case. And paracord, 100 feet, keep it in the pack, keeps it uh, packable and, and nice and tight, uh, but it's also really really handy to have. Uh, a couple other knickknacks here. Um, I'm not sure if you've heard of the brand Climate, but I really like this brand for two reasons. One, super packable. Two, they make some really neat things like, like this here. As you can see, what it is, it's a pad about this long, 
and you can inflate it. It's great for sitting on rocks. Like it provides you a bit of a cushion seat. So it keeps you up off the ground, keeps your butt nice and dry. Two, you can use it as a pillow at night and it packs down super light. Uh, jet boil, obviously for cooking. Um, sleeping bag, I use uh, a mummy type of bag, minus seven degrees, uh, just to keep the, the compaction a little bit better. I do bring a tarp. Okay, so this is a nine and a half by nine and a half foot tarp. And we can use that for putting up an extra vestibule on the tent, um, shading meat if we if we tag out on something, etc. Really, really handy to have there. Game bags here. Uh, again, I use the Climate uh, Static V sleeping mat. You can get them actually on Amazon for under $100. They're six and a half feet long by 18 or 20 inches wide. And they pack down to literally, I would say seven by three inches and less than a pound. So really light, really packable. For optics, uh, I have a loophole spotting scope here, 10 by 40, or sorry, 15 by 45. And that is really handy. Uh, it's lightweight. I do like the uh, angled eyepiece as well. And then I also bring uh, a light tripod for that just for stability. Right here, uh, backpack tent, two person small backpack tent, thicker walled fly, which is great just in case it snows, holds up to the weather. And then I do put my clothes also in a dry bag as well, keeps everything compartmentalized and also keeps it dry. And as far as uh, knives and stuff go, I just use a non folding blade skinning knife. And then I also do have a small bone saw. And I also use uh, an outdoor edge caping knife. Uh, it's really just nice, uh, nice precision knife there for, for caping out an animal. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. So basically, now the goal is to take all this gear, pack it into here. I use a Tenzing 6000 pack. Uh, very good for compartments, packs things nice and tidy. It also separates the gear and it has an expandable meat compartment in the back here that you can just unzip. This opens up, it's mesh all the way around to keep the meat cool. And it also keeps the meat close to your body uh, for weight wise as well, just to kind of keep everything distributed. So yeah, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to pack all of this into that. Here we go. Okay, so there we have it. So I've got an extra tarp for my buddy with a rain fly for his pack. Got my vinyl case, got my tent, just my jacket and stuff that I'll wear on the way out there. Hiking boots and gaiters and rifle are in the truck. And we're ready to rock and roll. Let's see what this thing weighs. All right, so as you saw, body weight 185 with pack on 230, which means we've got 45 pounds without the tent and the rifle. So we should be sitting with the water and everything on, should be sitting at 60 pounds or just under for seven days. All right, stay tuned. We'll have more coming your way soon.